Kevin, uh, you you have any anything else you want to add or ask? If if I see something on the forum that I want to respond to, you know, how do I reply to it? Okay, yeah, that's perfect. So um, let's see. The video demonstration series, the one we just went through, we'll click on last post, and I will go to the bottom, and let's just click on post reply. All right, so now we're into the reply section, and you can see it looks a lot like an email. So I'll, I'll just type in my reply, and if I want to preview what that looks like, I simply hit preview down here at the bottom. And that's how it would look in line. How do I post a file or a picture? If I've got something I'm working on, I've got a problem with it, uh, what's the function, what function do I do to get it into the, into the forum? Okay, cool, yeah. So I'll just add a uh, picture to this post right here. So let's go down a little farther and we can choose the file. And I got one on my desktop I want to use, that guy right there. And then I click on add the file and the upload bar pops up and now when I hit preview you'll see it looks like that thanks everyone all your support means a lot it really does um, I'm working on the most recent installment right now we are and uh, it'll be posted live in the coming days basically as soon as I finish editing this so uh, and then the picture shows up before it so I'm happy with that so I'm gonna hit submit and it takes me this message has been posted successfully and then it brings me back to the message and this is what it looks like in place but now if I was to go to view active topics the video demonstration series is on the top 3design NYC is the last post and if I click here it brings me to my most recent post so yeah, that's how you would that's how you would place a JPEG, a .jpg, an image file onto the forum. Josh, all these files: VTF, VNA, STL, OBJ, JPG, e, MP4, like STD. I mean, what's all this stuff about? <laughs> uh, yeah. So again, this is just stuff that I take for granted. You know, a JPG is a, is just a it's just a common um, image file. It's actually the one you probably work with most, but there's also BMP or PNG. I, I bet sometimes it can feel like to all of you, you need a degree in uh, computer science to be able to do this stuff. You, you really don't. And ST, S, STP is the one that you send to have it mailed, right? No, no, Kev. Uh, S, uh, an STL is the one that you uh, send to have it milled. STL. STL. Okay. An STL is... Uh, is a mesh file and that is what is recognized by most rapid prototyping and camming machines so all the printers and the growers and the mills out there that's usually the file that they want now so let's talk about some different file formats okay a VTF is the vision numeric 3design file okay that is our native file in 3design that's what you're saving to your desktop an OBJ is a file that's very common. It's also a 3D file. It's also a mesh file, but it's very common in rendering. So like now that 3Shaper is in 3Design, OBJ is more common for exporting and importing. And if you were to use an external rendering solution, then OBJ might be the file that you would want to go, go with. Okay. Once, once I download from the forum, what's the best way to, to save it? and how can I access it? Do I need to be in the program to access it? Uh, and so forth. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's a great question. I mean, when you say access it, I, I don't exactly know what you mean, but let's talk about, um, I don't know, let's, let's see if I can grab, um, if I go to View Active Topics, um, and I'll do the last one month I know uh, one of our power users, Dave Watt, made a great thread called Rendering Template. So I'm going to look for that. There it is, Rendering Template, New Diamond Material. So if I, I don't want to go to the end of that. I want to go to the f beginning of that. So I'm going to click there. And now 
he has um, put a link up here to Mediafire. Now, Mediafire is an external place to um, host uh, a VTF file in this case because there's a limit on the forum as to the size of the file. So he's placed it up there for us. So we click there, and um, I can go to Start Download Now. I'm using Chrome, which is Google's web browser. A lot of you could be using Internet Explorer. A lot of you could be using um, Safari or Mozilla Firefox. There's lots of different um, browsers out there. Now, once I have the VTF downloaded, I can drop it on my desktop. And then if I was to open 3Design, so now I can access that file through Open Document. If I look on my desktop, there it is. So that's the best way. I mean, like I said, you're all using different browsers. You may have to do save, save as, but just, just put it somewhere on your computer that you know where it is, and then you can access it. And um, again, like I said, you're going to be limited on your file size, so you can't upload a 48 meg um, VTF to the forum directly, but uh, there are other services like Mediafire or you send it. There's a lot of different services out there to share your files, but the forum is the place that you're going to connect with people and be able to make those interactions and get the opportunities to share that information. How can I help anyone if, if I'm such a beginner? I mean, it seems like I can see some of the, of the uh, contributors to the forum are, are quite uh, learned in the, in the system. Well, I think that's a great question. I'm super glad you asked it. Um, the truth is just by replying or saying thank you, that's participating. And uh, I'll, I'll give you an example. I just finished a video demonstration series, and I sent it off to one of our power users, and, and he watched it. There were little bits in there that I didn't know, and there were little bits in there that he didn't know. So we have all have different skill set and we all have things that we can share and simply by saying thank you or by posting a cool article that you saw about rapid prototyping machines or perhaps some cool design contest that you're seeing external to 3Design any of that is participation and all of that increases traffic on the forum and it's kind of like if you post something and people don't respond within you know a few hours then you then you feel you know kind of out of luck and you you might be hesitant to go back and do that so we really just want to see people posting so whether you're a three designer has been using the program for two weeks or you're a three designer has been using the program since version four it doesn't matter we want you up here we want to hear what you're doing what you're thinking and if you do see somebody who you recognize as a talented three designer that's how I've learned. I learned 3Design by interacting with the power users and pushing my learning curve farther and farther. And um, that's all available to you guys through the forum for free. Josh, I'm wondering why you're wearing a bunny mask in your post. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty funny. So uh, it's just a random picture that I had. Um, and I was told that the forum etiquette, and a lot of forums have ed etiquette, and that's just like a way to be on the forum, that uh, if you were going to have an avatar, yes, just like the movie, this picture, that it had to have something on top of your head. So let's see. Um, yeah, we got Jay here with the beret. We've got Vavka with the cat with the hat on. We got Harry with the bicycle helmet. We got Dave Watt pounding a computer. But if you notice, everybody has something on their head. So for me, I just thought this picture worked, and I, I, I thought it would be pretty funny. How do I post my picture in my profile? Yep, I mean, perfect question. How do you post it? All right, so... Just like before when we uploaded the JPEG, um, we go to user control panel here, and this will bring us into a whole new set of uh, options. So let's look at uh, profile, because that's where the picture is going to go. It brings me to my profile. And I haven't been here for a while, so I'm actually going to change some information. I am the sales engineer and also trainer. So you can put your interests, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So to the picture, if you go to Advatar, you can click on Advatar, 
and you can just like before choose the file find it on your machine and upload it we have a few other things we'll look here we'll do edit signature signature would be like the little note that you see down at the bottom so if I wanted it to be um, let's put make some beautiful stuff and submit that so now if I go to my view active topic let's see if it updated it retroactively I don't think it would have oh it does yeah so even retroactively now when you go in it says make some beautiful stuff and I was to click on 3design NYC it's gonna bring me to that po profile and you'll see all of that information that I uh, that I placed up there so I, I mean this brings us into an, another topic and it's uh, uh, PM which is private messages so let's say I wanted to send I'm sending myself a private message here so that doesn't make a lot of sense let's go to view active topics we'll go to J all right, so now I'm in uh, Jay's profile, and if I wanted to send him a private message, I could send him a private message, and I could put all right, so I sent uh, sent Jay a private message. So you can use that to interact with different members of the forum, etc. cetera. Uh, if I write something down and I realize it's looks kind of stupid how can I delete it that's an that's an excellent question Kevin uh, to delete a post it's real simple there's a little X over here that says delete post but most of the time you're probably not going to want to delete it what you can do is you can go to edit and then I can come back in and uh, let's say I wanted to put Let's say I wanted to put that also. It was just a little change I wanted to make. So now I could go back. I could delete all that. I could do whatever I wanted to. But now I can preview it again. It adds the change and hit submit. So now I've up updated that that change. What are all these little smiley faces? You know, little guy drinking the beer and all this other stuff. What's that all about? Okay, yeah, um, th those are called emoticons, and uh, emoticons are, I mean, they're just fun things. It kind of goes into that form edit kit. So I'll just go to my edit, and we'll do something like this. I can click on this little guy. I think he's called Cool. So, yeah, I put him on there, and then when I hit Preview Now, I get this little guy dancing. So it's just like on a Friday afternoon, you could choose the beer and be like, have a good weekend, guys. Um, and then submit, and that, and that updates the change. I probably get the most out of looking at things other people have done, like being able to look at the tree. So, like, if I can see something that someone's posted, open it up, you know, look at the steps that they took to get there. Uh, that's the beauty of the of the tree. Most of the time, I can figure out what they did. I share my files all the time. If people see a design that I've made that you think you have a customer for, I mean, I'm working for Vision Numeric, so I'm happy to share my files and, you know, anything that I can do to help anybody in the community, I will do it. And there's a lot of people out there with that attitude. I mean, it never ceases to amaze me how far people will go to help another user. And uh, I've had the pleasure of training so many of you over the last year that, um, there's no shortage of talent out there. I mean, we've got the talent. It's just a place to connect, and uh, the forum forum is the place to do that. I mean, that's that's the biggest thing, you know, being able to get on there and get stuff that's useful to me. The most useful thing to me is is either the exercises, the tutorials, or files that other people have done. Well, I'm going to keep the exercises and tutorials coming at you. You know, the video demonstration series is going to continue, and uh, we're just going to keep... Uh, making more and more videos so uh, the tutorials we're, we're going at that but as far as sharing information that's up to the community that's up to the users um, I'm I'm there and I know the other members of the vision numeric team are there but uh, 
it's for you guys to connect with one another. I mean, give each other your phone numbers, start talking. You know, let next year hopefully we can have like a three designer summit again and have, you know, 40 people show up. I mean, that would be great if we all could get together. I like the idea of Tucson just cuz I love Tucson, gem show. Um, but it could be anywhere. It could be Vegas, it could be New York, it could hey, it could even be France, but um But yeah, the forum is the online place to connect and to share this information. Well, I think that's a pretty good overview. I mean, we've talked about active topics. We've talked about your profile. We've talked about private messaging. We've talked about edits, deleting, uploading files. Um, I think we've covered the forum pretty well. Um, again, if you have problems logging in, contact your local territory manager. I want to thank Kevin Pugh, our first guest on the video demonstration series. I look forward to doing more kind of guest interviews in the future. I'm hoping to get uh, some of our power users up here just to talk about um, ways to connect and all, all different kinds of topics. But yeah, that's going to wrap up. Forum Demystified. As always, I'm Joshua St. John, 3Design NYC. You know how to use the forum, so I'll see you up there. Go make some beautiful stuff.